Alrighty, so we are going to discuss Cedar Points 2021 Roller Coaster Edition, because let's all face it, we can all pretty much assume Cedar Point is going to announce a record-breaking roller coaster for the 2021 season. A lot of people were disappointed that the 2020 season didn't bring a roller coaster, but I'm sorry, as I stated in a previous video, that was pretty obvious that Cedar Point wasn't going to announce a roller coaster for 2020. We hadn't seen construction. Tony Clark on Twitter had been constantly telling people it's not going to be anything major. Um, although I personally think their announcement was pretty major. I would be ecstatic to receive those additions at Canada's Wonderland. But nonetheless, let's get right into the video. So a lot of people saw the announcement for 2020 season and there were signs like Winterfest, 500 foot in 2021, question mark, which you see on the screen right now. Um, and a lot of people are completely just immediately jumping on the bandwagon for a 500 foot coaster in 2021. Um, I just want to bring everyone's attention back to Yukon Striker for a second. So let's say Cedar Point was getting a 500 foot coaster in 2021. Well, if we recall, Yukon Striker started construction actually about a couple months ago around this time period for a coaster to come in 2021, if that makes sense to you. So Yukon Striker started construction about two years in advance um, before its opening season, and it is not 500 feet tall. It's not very long either. It's just the Cedar Fair equation is to start construction super early, especially on bigger projects. And um, I definitely want to add that I do think Cedar Point is going to theme their coaster beyond belief, whatever they're getting in 2021 um, or whatever section it's going in. It's going to be themed. It just seems like the Cedar Fair equation now theming and roller coaster together spend a lot of money. Um, and uh, we aren't seeing any signs of construction yet. So there are zero signs of construction on a roller coaster for the 2021 season. That doesn't mean there isn't going to be a coaster in 2021. It just possibly could hint or prove that a 500 foot coaster isn't coming to Cedar Point in the 2021 season. I know that this that's going to make me extremely unpopular to a lot of people in the roller coaster community. I just don't think that a 500 foot roller coaster is ready for development quite yet. Um, from what I've been hearing from other enthusiasts who know a lot more than I do, um, the T-Rex model from RMC isn't quite ready, but that couldn't, that doesn't necessarily mean it wouldn't be ready for the 2021 season. So I don't want to fully rule that out, but from what we've been told by RMC themselves at conventions and uh, from what the community is saying, the T-Rex model isn't quite ready for development quite yet. Meaning maybe 2021 is a little too soon to see a 500 foot tall RMC T-Rex, especially at Cedar Point. We're not seeing any work on footings at Cedar Point or land clearing. And a 500 foot roller coaster is going to require a lot of construction, a lot of land clearing. And with the tariffs going on right now, a lot of money. That's a lot of steel. So... What could a company like Cedar Point do to deter costs for steel? I mean, one of my biggest predictions for the 2021 season is a flying coaster by B&M. And that doesn't completely rule out a high cost or price tag. So I guess my prediction for a flying coaster doesn't necessarily help my argument here. But there is one roller coaster model that a lot of people have been predicting for some time that is lacking in Cedar Point's coaster lineup now, and that is a GCI. We also know that GCI has announced a couple of things in the last couple of years at IAPA, one being their dueling roller coaster model, which is rumored to be going to a Chinese park. So not quite sure if that's necessarily going to be going to Cedar Point. Plus, that's a lot of wood and a lot of steel and a lot of work as well for a dueling GCI to be coming to Cedar Point, I think we would have seen land clearing as well. Nonetheless, we could still be seeing a GCI coming to Cedar Point. It would have a much lower price tag and they'd be able to do a lot with that. Um, and they are lacking a really awesome wooden coaster from their lineup now. So a GCI would fill that gap. It would be a lot lower on the price scale and they could do a lot more records, do a lot more things with it and still theme the crap out of it with a much lower price tag than breaking a lot of world records with a steel coaster. Again, I just want to reiterate that I'm not saying a 500 foot tall roller coaster is never coming to Cedar Point. I just don't see it for the 2021 season. And I know if a lot of you really sat down and thought about it and really put your thinking gaps on, you would 
have to agree that it's just not in the price tag right now. There's no need to go 500 feet just yet. Um, why jump so high um, when you could slowly break records and use the 500 foot tall record down the road? Because after 500 feet, we're not going to be able to go much higher anytime soon. So why would Cedar Point ha knock that out of the park right now in the 2021 season? There's no need. You could break GCI records. You could break flying coaster records. You could break you know, a spinning mock double launch record if they wanted to, or a family coaster record. There are other routes that Cedar Fair and Cedar Point can go down before needing to pull out that 500 foot tall roller coaster card out of their pocket to draw in attendance. I don't think they're quite there yet. Um, but nonetheless, a lot of people are speculating that a GCI is coming to the park. Do I think it's going to be dueling? No, as I just said, I don't necessarily think that they're in the need of the dueling market yet, or at least that model at IAPA. I don't think that would be the model they would purchase, it looks a little large to me. I think that if um, Cedar Point was going to go down the dueling route, it would be more Mystic Timber style, um, still breaking records and still doing some really amazing elements. And I definitely think that there, if they were to go down the GCI route, that there would be some inversions on this GCI as well. Um, or some may argue with the addition of Steel Vengeance, maybe they don't need inversions on their wooden coaster. Maybe they just need to go that classic GCI, awesome airtime, um, sharp turns route and impress everyone with that. Maybe they just need that classic, awesome world record GCI coaster with no inversions. Who knows? I'm definitely not sitting at the Cedar Fair board meeting deciding what Cedar Point's going to get in 2021, but I definitely think there is a strong argument for a GCI in Cedar Point's future, and it seems like a lot of enthusiasts do as well. Um, whatever they get, it's going to be record breaking. Now that brings us to the flying coaster. I have been predicting a flying coaster coming to Cedar Point for so long it would just complete their lineup again i definitely think a flying coaster and a gci is missing from the lineup so eventually those two coasters are going to end up at cedar point in my opinion a lot are arguing that uh cedar point won't get that due to um capacity um there are different routes that cedar point could go down to help with capacity on the flying coaster i don't think capacity is legitimate legitimately an argument for not getting a flying coaster there are bigger parks with flying coasters um that handle it just fine and uh, I think the Flying Coaster has some easily beatable records to do. Again, it would be a pricey coaster to get um, if they're going to break records and theme it on top of that, which we know Cedar Point's going to do. So in terms of tariffs and cost of things, I definitely think a GCI might be a little more likely at this time than a Flying Coaster. But if you're looking at Cedar Fair and trying to draw on the crowds, I think the Flying Coaster would draw on crowds better than a GCI. So it's very difficult um, I honestly, predicting what Cedar Point's going to get in 2021 is easy and difficult at the same time. I know that's so contradicting, but I mean, who knows, which makes it that much more exciting. So when is Cedar Point going to start teasing? Well, it, based off of their announcement, it seems like teasing might be done in a very unique way in the 2020 season. So that museum renovation, hang, um, switching over to a hangout kind of section, from what I'm understanding, there might be teasers done in that building for the 2021 seasons. So you're going to want to pay attention there. They're also going to have these people standing around the park um, that helped guide people in the past around the park, almost like information kiosks, but they're people. They kind of hinted at maybe there'll be some sort of like element of uniqueness or surprise there. So maybe that might be teasing um, or they might be teasing somewhat. And we all know that Cedar Fair is definitely going to be teasing the crap out of the 2021 season. It's the finale of their 150th anniversary and Cedar Point is definitely going to be getting a world record coaster. So I want to hear from you. What do you think Cedar Point is going to get in the 2021 season? Do you think it's going to be a GCI? Do you think it's going to be a flying coaster? Or do you honestly think it's going to be a 500 foot plus roller coaster? If you honestly think that that's totally okay. Um, I just came on here to discuss why I don't think it's going to be a 500 foot coaster. But if you completely disagree, definitely call me out in the comment section down below. Um, don't forget to hit the like button while you're watching this video. And hopefully... Um, the 2020 season ends up being an amazing season. Whatever Cedar Point announced during the 2020 season is honestly impressive, and it's only going to get better from there. Cedar Point is definitely transforming into an amazing park, and it's so exciting to watch. I'm so jealous of everyone who has that as their home park. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have an amazing holiday season, guys. Bye.